Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to tell you something about the latest treatment of nasal diseases, that is the disease of the nose. First, I represented Pakistan in Washington, D.C. in Nose 2000 and Beyond Conference. You can see me standing with the President of American Society of Rhinology, Professor Karen. Rhinology is dealing with the disease of the nose. There, I learned something about the latest treatment of allergy of the nose, how we can handle it. That is a very big problem in Pakistan. Also in South countries, I went to Dhaka, I went to, Bang uh, to Nepal, I went to New Delhi, I went to Colombo. I have seen this whole area, the sneezing, watering of the nose, burning of the eyes, there is itching and the patient becomes upset. We have got now various ways we can test the allergy and then we can do the vaccination later on. We can do various medical treatment. Anti-allergic medicines have got its own role. There are a number of cases they respond to oral tablets with the nasal spray also of various you see, companies. Now there is a lot of work on it. Patient has been relieved by medical treatment also. But some surgical procedures are also there. This, then there was a conference there in Manila. Love the nose conference. It was basically for all the nose problems. You can see me, I am sitting in with the Japanese ENT specialist. During the scientific session there, it was a big honor for Pakistan that I was representing in Love the Nose Conference. You can see the see picture of Love the Nose Conference there. I am standing. What they told us that the patient when comes to you, as I have been seeing in Mayo Hospital Hall, the biggest hospital of this whole area, in outdoor in my room number 51, they come with the problem of presenting symptoms, sneezing, off and on, off and on. In the morning, sometimes they get, sometimes when there is a change of temperature, they say that in the morning when we, they start washing the face, the, the cold water, when it strikes the nose or face, they start sneezing. Now we can do a lot. Before it was not possible. Especially good medicines have been discovered. I will tell you very frankly that the conference took place, especially there in Colombo, four SARC ENT conference. I represented Pakistan, where I was elected as vice president of SARC ENT Surgeon Association. It was a big respect and honor for my country that a person representing from Pakistan is being elected by the whole ENT surgeons of the SARC countries as vice president there. They gave me the message. Take this message to your country. Just try to adopt the latest things. We should leave the old things. Now we are not sitting in the Tonga or Reda or Gadda, but we have to travel in the, you see, those things which are now the vehicles of the time. We sit in the, you see, aeroplanes. We travel by Airbus. Now we should have the same facilities in the medical profession also. With the grace of Almighty Allah, I am telling you, I organized the third SAR ENT conference here in Lahore, in PC Hotel. The first mega event of Pakistan in ENT diseases of SAR countries. Galaxy of people from the whole world they came. The world president, Professor John J. Grima. You can see me sitting with Professor Laudin, president of SAR and the president of the whole world, that is Professor John J. Wright, on the breakfast table in PC Hotel. There, they gave me the idea on the PC breakfast that we should go on holding such meetings so that there should be proper transfer of technology by seeing, by meeting various people, the symptoms, the research paper, especially the state of art lecture was by Professor John J. Wright in third SAR conference. How to deal with the 
special problem of the nose. He said that there are polyps becoming a lot of problem. Even in Europe, polyps are small, you see, grape like structure. You can see they give a lot of problem to the patient. And he said a new thing that we should do the removal of the polyps not by simple polypectomy but by with the FAST protocol, functional endoscopic sinus surgery. Before that, we proceed to the surgery, we should have a CT scan with the FAST protocol. We get the pictures, we remove the polyps, they give very good results. Then the ENT conference took place in Cairo, in Egypt. Again, it was the World ENT conference by FIFOs, International Forum of Otorhinological Societies. They said the polyps, they should be removed with the care and then they must give the proper, you see, a testing like histopathology, whether they are cancerous or not. There could be some cancerous problem. So the idea behind that was to save the humanity, to improve the life. If, if at all there are polyps, they should be removed properly. Then the conference took place in New Delhi in Ashoka Hotel. It was again the hot topic. I chaired in that hotel on the inaugural day when I did the already, you see, the opening by candle lighting ceremony. And along with me, standing around me, Mr. Ramadas. Mr. Ramadas. And Admiral V. K. Singh, DG Armed Forces Medical Services of India, Admiral V. K. Singh. Then Professor Rakesh, he was from Nepal. Then other, you see, SAR countries, President, they were there. The idea in that scientific session was that we should deal the problem of the nose in a very methodical way. And the one state of our lecture was how to beautify the nose, how we can improve the shape of the nose. It was a big, you see, pain. They told the various ways, techniques, how to raise the tip, how to you see, remove the hump, how to beautify the nose. It was a great opinion where we learned a lot. After doing that, I came to Pakistan. I did a lot of, you see, nasal surgeries. We have improved the shape of the nose. And with the grace of Almighty Allah, this, where this is my Rana ENT Center on J. Road Lahore, opposite Canadian College. We did a lot of you see, surgery, improving the shape of the nose. After that, the, it was a, you see, a big occasion. By improving the shape of the nose, we improved the personality of the person. Then, bleeding problems were also discussed. Bleeding problems were mostly due to hypertension. From the, in older age group, bleeding from nose. How to tackle that? Then bleeding in the children, mostly most common cause in the children is adenoids. There's a small mass lying in the on the back side of the nose, from where the patient, small child, is bleeding. And we can improve by doing the adenoidectomy. Adenoid operation, if we do the bleeding from the nose of a small child, is feeling okay. In the same way, older age group. We can improve by packing the nose, by post the tag, by proper see, monitoring of the blood pressure. And also if there is a bleeding point, we can cauterize. And laser also plays very good role in doing the you see, management of the epistaxis. Epistaxis is practically the technical name of bleeding from nose. The last conference on nose which I attended was there in Nepal, Kathmandu. In Kathmandu, I am chairing the scientific session. This was again a big, you see, honor for me and for my country that they gave me the opportunity to chair this session on the problem of the nose. Nose problem number one is DNS. The septum is deviated like this. We do correction by doing the SMR operation. But now in the after age 18, but in the younger age group, they said that we can do the septal surgery in the age of 10 years, 12 years, 
eight years and it can give the big relief to the patient. After the conference of the Kathmandu, I then uh, represented the Pakistan there in New York. This was a big occasion, world gathering, world ENT conference. Again, a professor Jennifer Deliberi, she's standing with me and the Indian delegates are also they are standing. Here they talk much about this, you see, DNS, deflected nasal septum. How we can improve? The nasal obstruction is the first sign of the nasal diseases. If nasal obstruction is removed, the patient is okay. His nose is then like motorway. The air is going and coming. If he is relaxed, his life is pleasant. But people have got still, they, they fear from the operation. It's the SMR operation of the nose. I do in my this Rana ENT center. Very pleasantly, without any problem. Under the local nasidia, a patient comes, we do in five minutes. And the patient is relieved on the table. He, he says that first time I am not breathing properly from the nose. In whole life I remain feeling the difficulty. And in five minutes we do, the patient go in one or two hours, he can go. There is no problem. Then we have to see the various aspects of the nasal problems such like rhinorrhea, that's the watering of the nose and also sometimes there is a stone in the nose which is called as the rhinolith. I have done a number of cases there in Mayo Hospital, Lahore also, where I have worked for a long time. Thank you very much.